Okay, what we have here today is a fortune telling game from 1914 called Consult El Caro. My guess is this was like a predecessor to those uh, magic eight balls we had in the 80s and 90s. You can see the copyright date here. El Caro Co, Rochester, New York. I tried to do some research on El Caro Co and couldn't find anything. My assumption is this is about the only thing that they made. Let's take a look inside. This is what it looks like. There is a piece of plastic that covers where the ball is. That was completely damaged when I received it, so I've restored that. The ball was also missing. So right now, I just put a, a BB gun BB in there. It's a little too big, so it doesn't fit into the holes that, that well, but you can see it says, have your fortune told. Fun for the young, pleasing to the old. When El Caro, your fortune has told. Instructions inside cover. Those are your possibilities, 1 through 60. The back. There's nothing on it. These are your possible fortunes. The directions. So I don't have much information on this. Like I said, it appears to be the only thing they ever made. Um, you know, I'm a skeptic, an atheist. I'm just into these things for the historic value and, you know, the entertainment value. But I will say, one day, one of the fortunes I got said something along the lines of stay in. Don't go out today, or something like that. Oh, there we go. Don't travel, stay at home. Ten minutes after I got that fortune, it started raining outside. I don't know. Hell of a coincidence. Um... Yeah, anyway, just wanted to give you guys a look at this. Pretty interesting, mysterious item. All right, so this is how it works. Let's see what we got. Number 47. 47. Beware of that tall man. Well, that's rather ominous. Uh, well, I guess we'll see what happens. We'll get back to that one later. So anyway, thanks for looking. This is Consult El Caro. See you next time.